our friend Ed, Robert De Niro, whose wife has died and he's all by himself, and he has these two buddies, um, myself and Christopher Walken, and uh, and uh, we had we hung out together. Now his his Ed's daughter wants him to come and live with her family, and hence the plot. Uh, they have to move the youngest son out of his room and into the attic so Grandpa can have a place. And uh, we come to visit him and help him uh, plot his revenge against the kids. He's, he's got personality, let's say, <laughs> and, 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 uh, and he doesn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Well, we just kind of came out to support him because he really didn't want to move in with his daughter, but you know, she shamed him into it. And he's and when he gets to the house, he he takes over the youngest son's uh, room, unbeknownst to him. You know, they they figured this out, and the, and the son plots revenge to try to get his room back. And so uh, he, uh, the son uh, 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 gets together with all his buddies, and they they plot these uh, nefarious uh, uh, plots to. Uh, to get his room back, and I'm, I'm on the other side with uh, with uh, Ed and Jerry. <laughs> well, if it's written that we win, it's great. <laughs> you know, so, uh, it's cool because they got a lot of energy, but we got a lot of smarts too. You know, so we, so we can counter anything they do. It's just been wonderful. He's been just the wonderful, nicest guy. Just you know, you would think that he would. You know, he he was entitled to have an attitude, but he absolutely doesn't. Just like a, just really the nicest guy. We sit there and talk, and you know, I was like, I mean, <laughs> the first day I did the first scene, I says, "Holy God, I'm walk I'm acting with Robert De Niro and Chris Walken, and like, wow, this is cool," you know. Tim Hill, I've never worked with before, but I like the way he works. He's very methodical and very relaxed, and uh, and I was, I'm surprised, you know, because you're working with all these big heavyweights, and and uh, and he just goes about his business, and everybody listens to him. That's really important when when you get on a movie and everybody listens to the director. It really it it it, it, it makes you feel like you're in for a good movie. Uh, Trey was the one that found the story, and it was uh, he was, it was a book, and it was an old book. And it, he, I, he, when he was a kid, he found the story. He said, "This would be a great movie." Took it to his dad, and that, his dad said, "Yeah, this this would be a great movie. Let's let's try to make it." And so, the inevitable uh, march to try to get a movie made, which is you know sometimes can be very long, and um, they persevered, persevered, and and it was a st stop and go and go and stop, and then finally it was a go. He's actually a very nice kid, Trey. You know, he's he's good. He always comes up and says hi, how are you, and thank you. And he listens. He has the headphones on all the time. He's listening to everybody's dialogue. It's like it must be a thrill for this kid, you know, being a producer at eleven. Working in a comedy makes you feel alive all the time because. Comedy is the art of the unexpected, so you have to do things that are unexpected. So it keeps you on your toes, and you have to be uh, alert, and and you have to listen and see what's going on, and add to that that place. So you're not carrying a plot line; you're carrying a sense of humor, and that, that really keeps you alive. Oddly enough, the biggest challenges are physical. Because we're doing all these physical stunts there, and you know, with, with all the actors, the lead actors are about my age, and you know, it's kind of, especially in a bouncy house trampoline set. I didn't. I was just, I'm just gonna get killed here. You know, I was like, <laughs> at least they're gonna lose teeth or break a leg or something. You know, something's gonna happen. But so far, it's been so good. Well, it's a nice family film about the about the relationship between a grandfather and his grandkid, 
and his grandson. And I, I you know, I have grandkids, so I, I really relate to that. And I, I, you know, always kind of work to have a relationship with my my, my grandkids, and I be be excited about the things they do. Oaks is, is a cool little kid, I mean, he, you know, and he's a professional, so he's been, done other stuff before, so it's not like you know, you're training somebody, breaking them new. He knows what he's doing, he knows his lines, he shows up, and he, he repeats the things that he has to repeat. And because the thing that people don't realize is, is making movies is really tedious. Um, and you work all day, and, and sometimes you don't work all day, and then they call you in and, and you have to be prepared the last five minutes of the day. And, you know, but he's he's always prepared. I, I really like that. You know, you're not waiting for some some kid who doesn't know what he's doing. And that's, you know, you don't want that situation. <laughs>